Hey everybody, I'm Robert Young from Force Performance, and um, I've been getting a lot of questions about Mitsubishi exhaust housings lately, and I just want to cover a couple of really important points regarding Mitsubishi exhaust housings, particularly the Evo 10. I have two samples of Evo 10 exhaust housing here. This one, the bright shiny one, is a cast steel housing, and this one, the dull gray one, is a iron housing. This is readily available in the aftermarket. You see it um, being marketed on eBay. You see it in a lot of uh, lower cost um, turbochargers for the Evo 10 that are aftermarket turbochargers. Um, this is the genuine uh, MHI exhaust housing. It's actually made in a cast steel. And you can see right here they put the material code for the cast steel onto the part KN2. Um, this aftermarket bootleg housing also gets a material code that gets put on right here. They put KN2 on here. This sample's had the KN2 machined off of it because the uh, supplier didn't want me to know that they were misrepresenting the material as KN2. There's a couple of big differences here in what you get for what you bought. Um, this, is a, this is a high strength steel housing that is suitable for exhaust gas temperatures in the 1700 degree Fahrenheit range. This is a plain ductile iron housing that is suitable for exhaust temperatures as high as maybe 1200, 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, maybe suitable for some diesel applications. This is also uh, quite readily identified as a just a basic ferrous uh, material, not a very high temperature material. This is of course a cast stainless steel and much uh, higher strength. Um, Durability is what we're talking about when it comes to these two housings. This one will warp, crack, and melt much easier and much faster than this one will. We have always used the genuine MHI housings in our Force Performance turbochargers for the EVO 9 and EVO 10s and have always had great success with it, which is why we stick with it. It's very difficult to make this housing in the aftermarket with the same high quality and precision that Mitsubishi Heavy Industries makes this as an OEM. This is what you get when you end up going with an aftermarket supplier for this housing. It's too complicated of a housing for micro foundries and micro factories to produce accurately. You have, you have a lot of problems with it, none the least of which is that the divider wall between the two volutes is not in the center of the entry width, really affecting performance on cylinders one and four. Another big problem that you see with these two housings is with the flapper bits. The MHI flapper bits are made out of uh, high strength uh, steel alloys also which are non-ferrous. Suitable for high temperature and will not melt away and fall out of the housing. These parts right here if you were to look at them carefully you can just see how less nice the parts are, how cheap more cheaply made the parts are. On top of that it's just a magnetic it's just a magnetic part. It's just, a, it's just a regular steel part. It's not even, it's not even a high-strength high, a high st uh, stainless steel alloy. These bits, all in here, this arm, this washer, this symbol, this flapper symbol, these will all erode and melt out of this part over time as, as time and temperature affect this part. The materials are just not up to the job. We're constantly asked by this Chinese supplier if we're interested in buying their housings over and over again, sample set after sample set they send me, I reject their invitation to buy this part because it's just crap. That's what I know about Evo 10 and Evo 9 exhaust housings in a nutshell.